Hiya guys, you had a rough day, didn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. So rough. Trains, planes and automobiles, that's the one. Yeah, lots of travelling. But, uh, you know, could be worse, I suppose. Because there's a lot of that now for Cooler Shaker. All of a sudden it's boom and you're being... Well, we're just, we're just winding up for a while, actually. We're going to start on the second album. Um, and so we're just going to do the festivals in Europe and uh, some festivals in America. And by, you know, sort of midsummer, we should be having a break. We haven't had a break in about 18 months. <laughs> but how do you look back Lots on those 18 months? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, it's very dense. It's exhausting. It's great. <laughs> Listen, um, I read an article, and there I saw that um, you guys said um, we're not as experienced in recording yet. Hmm. Uh, was it that hard to get your sound on a record? It's quite. Yeah, you get some glue, and you sort of have to get the sound. It's hard to get the glue these days. Though, so it kept coming <laughs> off, and then we're like trying again. We're trying all different brands. And it just didn't work, did it? It's, Sorry, what, so what finally it's happened? Very tired. Oh, no, nice. it is. It is hard to actually get the live sound, you know, which is coming through a big PA and it's all loud and you've got the live energy and then to get that onto a little CD like that. Mm -hmm. It is actually quite hard. It is, is an art to it and, and we're sort of trying to learn that. I think we've got that on a couple of the tracks. Yeah, um, well, it, the, the energy is, is, a, is, a, is a thing that, you know, you come up against getting that energy down onto tape. But also, you know, just taking your time and working on getting sounds together. It is an art. And, um, you know, John Leckie was, was the first proper producer we worked with. And uh, he certainly, you know, experienced. So we learned a lot from him, just take, taking your time and building a picture, you know, paying attention to detail as you go. And he did a very good impression also of a, of a bonfire <laughs> and to the whole session of billows of smoke. Smoke. Strange smelling smoke. <laughs> No, because for us it seems so easy. You go to a store, you buy a record, and you never get to think of that. That's the easy. Yeah, that's very easy. That's the easy part, right? Unless you got, haven't got any money. <laughs> then <laughs> then it's, it's a little bit harder. Very hard. And um, the lyrics are very important. But um, do you sometimes have the feeling that people are really stuck on your lyrics right now? Cooler Shakers lyrics in the songs. Oh, I think some people are are, are into them, and some people are. I don't listen to them enough, you know. Some people they have an opinion on the band and say, "Oh, you're this, you're that," you know. But they, you know, the lyrics we do take them seriously, and yeah, you got to spend time on them. You give a song an identity and a, and a, you know, a personality. Or I think you got to, you know, spend your time and craft it out. When you, I mean, you try and sing a song about beer and skittles, it doesn't move you. Can't get the oh. into it. You know, it's a bit hard. So. Uh, and um, when is the best times to um, create songs? Just before breakfast. Really? Just before breakfast. After your first cup of tea, isn't it? Yeah. Or you're you're halfway down your cup of tea and it's like ding. The, the, the tea doesn't count as breakfast. Yeah. So I always thought it was dinner, you know, and then after dinner you go to the little room and then, no? Well, no, because then you've got a full stomach, you see, and then you're all breakfast. No, the truth, the truth is actually, truth is, truth. that um, most people I've met who write. They can't write when they want to. Um, they must say, right, that's it, I'm gonna go and write Hey Jude. You know, and so you go and you sit down and you know, nothing will happen. It's, it's all, it will just, when you're in the bath, you're walking somewhere, you know, you're on the toilet, um, you know, you could be, um, you know, yes. flying, flying a duck somewhere. You never know when the inspiration will come and get you, you know, so. Are you ever afraid that it's completely gonna go away? Because you hear that a lot from artists. Do, every yeah. every day. Yeah. Every have a few, yeah. It's actually that part attacks. of part of, of a creative process is uh, self doubt, and you know that's part of how you explore yourself, explore the world. You know, I do believe. I don't believe. I do believe. I don't believe. You've got to keep going through. Yeah, that. you have that discipline. Otherwise, if you think, oh, I can write. I'm a brilliant writer. Everything I write is brilliant. You end up. Like Paul McCartney. No, I didn't oh, say that. No, 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 I wasn't. I was thinking of that, man. I was going to say that. <laughs> Sorry. But you, you, you lose that sort of, you know, that uh, objective sort of, um, you know, opinion of your own materials. And um, before, are you okay? No. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You still have to go on stage. What are you, what are you expecting, by the way, by going on stage? Because um, there's a lot of people, and most of the times you perform in little smaller... Um, in front of more intimate venues. Yeah. yeah. Do you prefer that? 
It's, yeah, in a way, you, it's, communication's easier and you can feel more of a vibe. It's more like you're part, you know, the same with the audience. It's, it's good, good for that. that, that yeah. uh, it's different, different experience. It's more of a kind of communal yeah. get-together in a stadium. <clears throat> when you're in a little club, you're all sort of real closely related. I think, you know, um, something about stadium rock. We, we started playing, we will, we will. <laughs> Fuck you. And, and that sort of, that goes well in it, down one of the stadiums. Yeah. But we're writing those sort of songs for the second album. That's the direction we want to take it. You know. Stadium rock. So it's got right. a totally different air to it or not? It <laughs> is. Bass drums about this, this big, are they? About that big? Not that high, aren't they? Very big sound. But it's guitars are twice the size. <laughs> you know, You've been on the road for a long time, busy and everything, you're tired, but you're still having fun, aren't you? Oh, are we? How much were you paid this morning? No, no, we're not having fun. No, we're, actually, it's very difficult to have fun when you're tired. And uh, got to a point now where we're just totally exhausted, you know? And uh, you know, some nights, you get it together and you have a good gig and the crowd are, are happening and that helps. But a lot of the time, you know, you just think, I've got to stop, you know, this has been, we need a break. And that's kind of how I feel right now. There is. Every now and then you'll get a real special moment. You'll end up in a beautiful place somewhere and you might even get a day off if you're really lucky. The record company think you've been a good boy, you know, they'll give you a day off and, and you get to see some beautiful places around the world. But it's rare. A lot of the time we spend sort of doing this, vibrating in sort of various sort uh, yeah, of that's planes. Yeah, that's down to and, old planes, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no, I wouldn't talk about No, it's, it's, it's sometimes yeah. also if you're on tour, you know, you'll go through, oh, tickets aren't going so well in Nashville, you know, and, and you expect, say, you know, there's going to be a quiet gig in Nashville. You get there and you have a real brilliant experience, you know. So there's surprises as well that you have on the road touring, meeting people, having some different experiences. Right? You get to see the world, but it's very quick, you know, you never really get to connect. So. Did, did you ever expect that this was going to happen with Cooler Shaker? Like this big, this what, quick? What, that all our hair would fall out? <laughs> no, I know. no, don't touch oh, it, I just glued it in. Okay. No, um, no, I didn't expect it. I saw some, some hair clinic people in London, yeah. you know, and they, thought, they said I had another 10 years of hair left, but oh. um, it just, we started touring and, and it all fell out. Well, wigs are quite good there. Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's one of the things when you're big artists, you can get the best wigs in town, right? Wigs, yeah, so that's not a problem. Right people, that's not a problem. Good. I know, who does yours? Why? <laughs> I did it myself. <laughs> it shows. Yeah. No, yeah, it's it's a, 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 Do you have some of that glue for me? Then? Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, you guys, uh, I'm just going to ask you one more thing um, about the album. Is uh, What are the favorite songs on that album? Do you have favorite songs on the album? Uh, I think Elena Rigby, Tour Never Knows. That's a good one. Uh, Wait a minute. Taxman. Did we, did we? Is that not... Oh, our album. Oh, all right. Oh. Um, oh, I don't know, you know. That last track's good. The last track. <laughs> the one very, that goes. very last one. The, the one that's like 20 seconds long. No, 13, 13. seconds long. <laughs> that one, that's good. It hasn't got a name. <laughs> so that's the one we like. The 13 second things that they're, that's yeah. our favorite. Yeah. Okay, um, I would love to talk with you guys, but I think I should let you go so you can do your sound check. And, and uh, you can really blow away there on stage. I'm very curious to see you. Sounds a bit rude. Thank you very much. Is that rude? Uh, well, it is in England, but you know. Oh, so, okay. We're so I'll, 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 okay, yeah. okay. Sorry. Thank you very All much. All right then. Thank nice you too. Bye. <laughs> Microphone is. Uh, oh, my. Yeah. Okay, microphone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can watch those other TNF music factory. Okay, Kevin Rowling. Where's the sound? Yep. Oh, hello. We're Cooler Shaker, and you can watch us on Music Factory. Thank you. <laughs> This is the Music Factory